Insomnia here with, back with some more AFK Arena. Today I wanted to look at something that I never really do on my main account. Uh, Maulers, I don't really have any rhyme or reason why I've leveled up. It's just been kind of uh, not using any Maulers other than the tower. Same with Wilders. Um, I built Tassie and Nemora because they're a good CC, they're good healing. Overall, really, really solid S, S plus heroes. But I want to focus on the Wilder team for a little bit. I did pull a couple more copies of some key heroes. So looking at tier list, tier list actually has Iran. They have set as um, S plus, one of the best heroes, along with Laika, which is up there. I believe S was Kaz. So Kaz was just a little bit below the rest of the team. And then Namora and Tassie, they both had at S+. Plus. Signature items were a little bit lower. Eron was um, by far number one. I have him on my Wilder account. His CC is amazing, which when he slows a target with a signature item, uh, the tornado actually freezes the target. So super solid team. So we're going to go ahead and do a couple ascensions. Um, essentially, the Wilder team has just been sitting here, as you can see. I got Lorzen up, which was a while ago, just to use him for the um, guild bosses. So we did pull another copy of Kaz, which we got a card out of the Stargazer. So we're going to go ahead and actually get her to Ascended because I do have the copy sitting there. And I believe her signature item is already unlocked. So she is my very... Um, and I, I'm thinking she's going to be like a tank on the team. Because then I have Eron as well, which I want to save um, Lyca right there. So I, I want to keep her. So I don't have any food for her, but I do have a couple that I can use here to get up to actually create some food for him. So we can actually unlock him to get his uh, signature item. Not sure if I have enough to unlock the signature item, but today is the day for the Wilder Tower. So I want to do a little bit of a push to the Wilder Tower. So getting him to the mythic level with the signature item. And again, I'm going to need some more food for this account. So unfortunately, mythic, there is his signature item. And I don't want to use my Leica because Leica I'm going to keep. So that's going to be the team. As you can see, Gorvo, I have only gotten two copies of him ever. Leica, I do have quite a few copies. If you see, um, I have two copies right there of her Elite Plus. So if I could actually get her to Mythic Plus, I have enough to ascend her as well. But I'm going to need quite a bit more food for this team. So I'm going to take a minute. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get them all geared up and then make a hopefully a solid 10 floor run with the uh, Wilder team in the tower. I believe I'm on 143, so tied with the Brutal Citadel with my Mauler team. Again, neither of the factions have ever been a focus on this account, but as I'm getting further in the campaign, looking at Tassie, looking at Nomura, uh, looking at a CC, I've been kind of stuck with the team. So looking outside of my, my regular Light Bear team that I like to use, or even filtering in a couple Graveworn to make the team more efficient. So let me go ahead and get them all geared up, and then I'll be right back. All right, so we got the Wilder team all figured out here. So we have Namora and Tassie, Kaz, Iran, and I'm going to do Laika. One thing that I found is I don't have enough gear to really put them all in Mythic Plus gear. Um, and I didn't have enough signature or I didn't have enough emblems to get his Elemental Blades up. But we're going to go ahead and give it a go for the tower. Hopefully we can get a couple sigils out of here and a lot of gold. Um, so we'll drop Lorsen out, which I do like him and his abilities are pretty solid. So he might be one to swap in for Leica, but I love the energy buff. And finally getting Kaz to her um, Ascended hopefully will help quite a bit here because her signature item is unlocked, uh, Tassie's item is unlocked, and Namora's item is unlocked. And Eron goes down with the shield, of course, of Brutus. But we should still be able to get this with the rest of the team sleeping because Kaz does a lot of damage. And that was a pretty close one. I thought Belinda, if, if she attacked both of the back line, um, might have been pretty pretty detrimental there. So I did put my best gear here onto Eron, 
That way with his ability, hopefully he can survive a little bit longer. And I'm hoping between Tazzy's um, healing in CC and Namora's healing in CC, the banishment that went off there, that we can increase their survivability. And I love that sleep. Such a, a just strong overpowering ability. And I do lack a little bit of um, AoE damage. As you've seen there when Grez had adds up and Baden had adds up, they were just all over, all over the adds. So they didn't have the ability to do any CC short of the tornado that runs around. And this one looks just about a similar team. Except they know Arden's roots here, and they banished uh, Kaz right off the bat. So we're going to make sure we get some of our heals up. Hopefully get Arden down pretty quick, which we do. And I love that the enemy Tassie just uh, runs away, so Kaz just starts destroying uh, like a rate in the back row. Which is very nice. The amount of CC this um, team possesses just makes it so strong. If you've watched any of my Wilder videos, and there are five more um, single Stargazer cards. So just did my 30 pull. <laughs> now that I've done that, uh, well, actually 40 pull because I used a couple diamonds in there. A lot of people have said every five pull guarantees a hero. So every 50, which don't have enough Stargazer cards. I don't think that'll give me enough for a 10 pull. I could use some more gems, but pretty hesitant with um, shelling out 10,000 gems just for a chance but my next stargazer pull should be another one should be another hero in addition a lot of people have said that the gems that you use for the stargazer summons and the cards you use for the stargazer summons are completely independent of each other as well so i'm not sure if there's any way to really validate that short of doing a lot more pulls but we get some CC off here. Hopefully we can get Namora down. Because I think this Brutus is going to be rough if he world wins here in a minute. So we got to sleep. I don't think we're going to be able to get this one down. Or at least not this time. We might. Tassie's pretty tough. She's she's taken out quite a few, quite a few teams. If we could get Namora down in the back or even Arden. Might have a shot, which we got Namora down. I think we just might run out of time on this one, though, because Arden's down. Sleep in the team again. Brutus should have went down right there. It is going to... We got it. The Tassie-Namora combo again pulls out the win. And I feel like with this team, if I had um, Leica up a little bit higher, or if I had Eron with a signature item unlocked, it would be probably a lot stronger. But I'm just hoping that the Namora Tassi CC combo can can pull it through. And the CC they bring is just so strong. Between the healing and CC, it's very um very difficult to kill them. Because not only does the overhealing shield is as you can see there, Savius just stands there banished, or sleeping, or charmed, giving us the ability to take him. Take him down. So I believe we're pushing up to 150. This is another team where Grezzled's going to be... Hopefully we can uh, banish him or sleep him because he just popped up two ads right there. Seeing Kaz goes right to killing the ads where she could have just uh, taken Grezzled out if she would have focused on him. But we did get him down, so we should be able to get this pretty easy. Especially when they focus, focus down an enemy because the other one is banished. Very nice. So Cirrus with a signature item, one of the toughest out there from what I hear. Haven't had them high enough. I actually used them for food on the Wilder account because I was stuck with four tanks. But if you look there, his ultimate ability that just went off, just demolished pretty much the whole team. But Kaz is still up, but I'm not sure we're going to have a, 
enough time to get through through the team. But we got a Strilda down there. We got a Zizel down there. I think we're going to be able to do it. And he has Charm, so he's actually killing his own, own opponent, which we do. 15 emblems, not the emblems that we needed to unlock his signature item, though. I'm not sure if any of these some more gold. Not sure if I'm going to have any more of the, the regular emblems at this point. But very nice to get those. And I love the banishment. So solid. That, that's what makes Cassie so strong. And Namora, even though my choice over Namora has always been um, using Rowan, just because of the burst, a lot of times my tanks will die before I have a chance. But if you look here, this uh, this little combination of these two just seem really tough to, to get through. Wow. I guess this is going to be the uh, Namora Tassi carry on the uh, Wilder Tower. Slow, but it works. I'm not sure here I'd want to pull both Arden in, which unfortunately we don't, but we charm her. A lot of battles I've moved Iran to actually the, the back middle to pull over the team. Because between the slow and that like elemental storm, his ultimate ability that just went off would have froze all those targets, which is just so powerful when it comes to the CC aspect of it. Unfortunately, Leica goes down, but I think we're going to be able to sleep the rest of the team. So we just got Sirius left, which Tornado runs right through him. Should be able to get a heal off here in a second and get him taken out. Very nice. As he just sits there and sleeps. That brings us to 153, which that will take our 10 floors. So very, very nice push. Uh, 10 floors up to 153. Now I just got to work on the Brutal Citadel, getting it up past 150. But very excited that that's very cool with the Wilder team. I'm going to be saving up some of my emblems so I can go ahead and unlock his signature item, which I think is super strong. For Wilders, afkarena.net says it is by far the best uh, signature item for the Wilder team. So can't wait to get his Elemental Blades unlocked. Let me know what you guys think of the Wilder team. Um, never focused on, focused on them on this account, but Wilder, Maulers, I'm trying to get them built up so I can finish all the towers. Let me know what you guys think, and thank you for watching.